Hello and welcome my Capricorn friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be a group angel reading for my friends born under the Capricorn zodiac sign. It's been a while since I've done an angel reading. The angels have been asking me a number of times to get one done as quickly as I could. They've been telling me that there's a lot of information that's being missed as a lot of people are blocked or missing their um, messages that are intended for them. So they've asked that I create a video for them to help them out. I'm actually looking at making angel readings a monthly event. Let me know below what you think and if that would be something you'd be interested in. For this reading I have chosen of course the Angel Tarot created by Jane Wallace and I'll be ending the session off with a blessing from the Angel Inspiration deck created by Kim Dreyer. Like always I will have links below to these Angel Tastic decks so should they speak to you you can go check them out for yourselves. All right. My Capricorn friends, let's see what the cards have in store for you. What messages do the angels have? Got some jumpers. For my Capricorn friends. What guidance does my angel friends have? It's quite the, the packet of jumpers you had there. From what guidance do the angels have for my Capricorn friends? What other information do the angels want to share with my Capricorn friends? Okay, well you've got quite the plethora here of jumping cards, so let's start off. The first card was the Seven of Pentacles. Now sevens are about challenge, yet victory. Pentacles are about growth and abundance. Now Jane has put labels on them. Is it about vision? You bet. However, it's really hard to label a tarot card with one word because they have so many meanings. And when you put them together with other cards, they have even more meanings. I love the, the Angel Tarot. It's the one piece that I would change on it. I, I don't like um, having uh, labels explaining the cards. I get that it can be challenging to read cards with no picture. It's an intuitional read rather than a pictorial read. However, I think the, the label, it, it's a little bit off for me. So the Seven of Pentacles is also about that hard work. The original deck, Pamela Coleman Smith, had put a fellow who had, who's leaning on a, a, some sort of gardening tool and is looking at this bush of pentacles that he's worked so hard on. So it's about that hard work and determination piece as well. The next card that jumped out is the Four of Wands. Fours are a foundational number. Wands are about that inner passion and fire. Jane's put down freedom, partly. The Four of Wands usually has a, a tent, a four-posted kind of canopy tent with people dancing. It's about freedom and celebration. Celebration for what you've achieved and also those passions and inner fire. I kind of think of it as a, a festival and it's all these people who are really just excited and happy to live and they are partying. I know that Pam Coleman Smith had put down that there was a wedding and that people were celebrating and everybody was celebrating with them. But for me it's also that that celebration of life and passion. The Nine of Cups. Nines are all about that hard work. Uh, Jane's put down blessing. Eh, sort of, yeah. It, it, the Nine of Cups talks about all that you've achieved and acquired so far. All that hard work and passion has paid off. It's kind of that next step. You've taken your earth, your fire and water and you've really created. And that's kind of what we need. That's what, the building blocks of life, right? So we're grounded, we're passionate and we're intuitive and we're able to really control those pieces. They've created quite a lot for you in your life, these three pieces, and you should be proud of all that you've achieved. Now we go on to the world. The 21st card in the Major Arcana and it says Angel of Success, you bet. Very much so. Um, she's also known as the Dancer. She's a balancing card as well because she's balancing the male and female energies of the Magician and the uh, High Priestess. And she talks about that accomplishment and all we've achieved so far. It's very much that success piece. 
There's a next part to it though. We celebrate and recognize what we've accomplished as we end a chapter and we get excited and anticipate that next big step. And that's kind of where we're at right now, Capricorn, is that next big step for you. And then we go on to the Two of Wands. Twos are a duality and choice. Wands, like I said, about that inner fire and passion. It says progress. The Two of Wands is also, it's a duality card, it's a choice card. However, the original card talks about how we've accomplished so much, which we've already achieved, and we're kind of at this space of, hmm, what's my next move? And that's very much where we're at right now. You've accomplished quite a bit. You've stabilized and been able to achieve a lot in your life. And sometimes those achievements may be hard to see. However, we have achieved a lot. We have done a lot to get to where we're at. This kind of talks about where we're at. We're going to be ending a chapter and beginning a new one. And we're not too sure where that new one's going to go and how to go forward on that new chapter. And it talks now about the Four of Pentacles. Like I said above, fours are stability number, the foundational number. Pentacles are growth and abundance. It says control here, which is true, it is a controlling card, but it's also about your security and your tenacity. So this is where we're going to start off from, okay? So we've got the Four of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Now we have double fours. In Angel Messages, double fours talks about the need to be grounded and to stay focused on your foundation, which is very much what we're doing here. So this is where we're at for that next step. We need to start grounding and centering ourselves because we need that foundation to kind of jump off of. What we're gonna be jumping into, fantastic cards to jump into by the way, the Queen of Pentacles. Queens are that feminine nurturing energy. Now don't get me wrong, queens are not, they may be a passive energy, but they will still kick your butt. They still have a lot of force and power within them. They're not as overt as their counterparts, the kings. However, they have enough power to get the job done. The Queen of Pentacles is all about that growth and abundance. Very fertile, very abundant. There's going to be a lot of movement and creativity. She has a lot to do with creating and getting things to grow and to flourish. And that's really what we're looking at in your next step. And the last card that jumped out is the Ace of Wands. Aces are a gift. This is a great gift of passion and creativity. Connected in with the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, it really talks about that moving forward through creative aspects and kind of shifting things. What you've done and accomplished so far is great. However, that next step is gonna really push you forward. It's gonna have some great ideas. However, you need to be able to keep yourself grounded because it's gonna take you to many different planes. This isn't only a, a, a journey about spirituality. This is about a journey in life because we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. She's very grounded. You have a lot of fire and earth here. So yes, it's on the spiritual realm, but it's also on the physical realm. It's again, we've got double wands, which is about duality and choice and balance. We have to balance our physical with our, our spiritual and inner passions. And that's going to take us um, to that next step. And right now, we should, you'll, you'll get the answer to the Two of Wands on how the, what this means for you. But right now, also remember to celebrate all you've achieved. It's really easy to overlook those little accomplishments in life. And sometimes those little accomplishments add up to a lot of big positive change. Let's look at what your shadow self wants to add. And that's the Magician. Jane puts him down as the angel of magic. Yeah, he's about magic. However, more importantly, he's about your abilities and skills. The ability to draw down that energy and create amazing things. Now, the dancer is holding his wand and the um, 
wand of the high priestess. Many times she's depicted as having a wand as well. It's supposed to be the male and female energy. He's all about drawing that down. Drawing down that universal energy, giving yourself more power, giving yourself the time to heal. When we start drawing down the, the universal energy, we start to nurture and care for ourselves. We start to heal ourselves, which is also part of what that next step is for you, is that, that healing and loving yourself. It's part of the aspect of what you're going forward for. Let's look at the blessing, my Capricorn friends. What blessings do the angels have for my Capricorn friends? And let's check your emotions. It's really easy to allow your emotions to get overwhelmed when we're starting something new. This is predominantly a fire and earth reading. You do have nine of cups to depict how much you've accomplished in life. However, there's a lot of wands and a lot of pentacles. So it is more about that passion and growth aspect right now. Your emotions really don't need to be a part of it. Yes, they will be part of the, the passion because that's a heart driven piece. However, it's all the other emotions because your ego will try and step in and really get into this because this is change. This is outside of the box that your ego has created for yourself. So then it doesn't want you to go forward. The ego will start to cause other emotions to wreak havoc in trying to put this to a stop. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. This is a group reading. However, the cards were meant for my Capricorn friends. I drew them especially for you. What further information did the cards hold for you? That said, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and fun, and that you're able to gain more insight into what the angels want to share with you. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I will continue to create videos for my Zodiac friends in the upcoming weeks. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'm always up for feedback from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. You never know where I'm going to go next and I'd hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of my tiers, the perks are for private readings for myself. I provided a helpful link below so why not go check it out. Until tomorrow my Capricorn friends.